Well, we have more steamy weather today and the next several days still. Plenty of fuel for potential storms that'll be developing here on Wednesday. We have a slight risk, level two out of five of severe storms on Wednesday in southwestern Minnesota. Very warm Tuesday, back well into the 80s, slightly above normal, definitely humid, uh, but most of the rest of the day should be fairly bright here as uh, those clouds and clusters of storms from the morning hours dissipate. Uh, temperatures tomorrow will be warmer, near 90 degrees, very muggy, in fact, could be our highest dew points yet this week, low to mid-70s, it will feel almost like 100 for some, and that will be plenty of fuel for potential storms here that develop on Wednesday, we have a slight risk, level 2 out of 5 for southwestern Minnesota, uh, marginal risk for the rest of us, but it does look uh, most likely that that eastern part of South Dakota, southwest Minnesota, and in northwestern Iowa could see some pretty strong wind gusts with storms tomorrow. Uh, the culprit for all of it, this uh, pretty deep wave in the middle of the atmosphere, mid-level wave that's making its way out of Idaho towards Minnesota by tomorrow. It's cool air aloft, essentially, so uh, a cool front aloft that will help to really allow storms to pop here as it propagates into Minnesota late tomorrow. Uh, there's the track of that upper level forecast pattern. Uh, storms could be going in northern Minnesota, especially in the morning tomorrow, but for the most part, it's going to be hot and steamy during the day. Now, this is the high resolution rapid refresh model, creates a bow echo in west central Minnesota that then dissipates into the Twin Cities, may remain severe if that scenario plays out. A uh, European model, though, and other models are a little further south with a similar feature potential bow echo in the late evening hours. Uh, again, both of these, though, primarily southwestern Minnesota. But when we look at the modeled wind gust swaths, uh, you can see that high resolution rapid refresh model basically creates two separate bow echoes with high wind gusts uh, across much of southern Minnesota, but then also southern Iowa, whereas the North American model on the right is primarily to the south. Behind it, don't look for a lot of change. In fact, Friday and Saturday will be hotter, near 90, lots of sunshine. And then we have two cool fronts coming through. One will drop temperatures a little bit for Sunday, Monday, but another one will drop it further later next week, and that will finally push out the muggy air. I think we're going to have to wait uh, another week before those dew points drop below 60 when it's more comfortable for everybody. But one thing to be on the lookout for tonight, uh, if you have clear skies overhead, and many of us should overnight, there was a coronal mass ejection that hit Earth and the possibility that we could see some northern lights as we head into the overnight hours tonight. Now, it looks like peak activity will probably be in the 7 to 10 p.m. time frame. That's what's being forecast by uh, space weather, NOAA space weather now. But KP index of 6 which if we reach that, that does mean that lights are visible even in the Twin Cities. So uh, after dark, after 9 o'clock or so, maybe keep your eyes to the sky. Maybe you'll see the lights get out of the city areas, though, away from uh, our man-made light pollution. About 87 today, uh, quiet overnight. Again, we might have a couple early morning thunderstorms tomorrow, but otherwise steamy during the day. And then strong storms develop late in the day into Wednesday night. Might have some lingering showers early Thursday. Uh, and then it's hot, still muggy here Friday, Saturday, both near 90 degrees for the first two days of August. Uh, starting out on a very warm note. And then again, the first of two cool fronts arrive Sunday.